So this is the inside of heating the garage. This is part of the radiant floor system. So as you can see, we have two manifolds. Uh, one is supplying the hot water to the floor in the garage, and the other is bringing it back after it's given up its heat. Uh, we're using a standard water heater, this is $450 off the shelf, and this is acting like you know, a boiler in a whole house. Uh, but we only need a simple water heater because this garage is really well insulated and really airtight. Uh, but the water heater is heating water. It's then coming out hot, going through this uh, circulator, which is then pushing it down through the manifolds, through the floor tubing, heating the concrete slab, and then it's returning right here uh, back into the bottom of the tank. So we have the hottest water going to the floor and then the cold water coming back. Uh, this is 240 volt water heater and it's just using the standard electricity uh, so that we have to pay for it. Uh, so this worked. This upcoming winter we're going to try heating the garage with solar. I put the panels up on the south wall which is just on the other side of here. We got the solar panels. That's in another video. Uh, those solar panels are going to heat water and we're going to try turning the elements off this winter and just heating this whole garage, the radiant floor, uh, with those solar panels. Uh, so we're going to see what happens. Let's take a closer look at the parts of the system. We have a uh, efficient Grunfoss Alpha circulator, pressure gauge, we have a thermostat. Now this is a line voltage thermostat, so it's not using a transformer and it's not running 24 volts. It's also not programmable, but that's okay because this heating up the whole mass takes so much time and there's so much lag that uh, you can't really use a programmable thermostat in this system. So this is monitoring air temperature and it's off right now and I also have it unplugged. Uh, so during the winter, plug it in set it to the temperature you want, and uh, that will turn on and off the circulator. And the internal thermostat on each element of the water heater, that will just keep the water heater warm. Now it's not going to uh, thermal siphon or kind of short cycle uh, because the water heater is higher than the uh, floor. So the floor is always going to have the cold water in it. The water heater is always going to have the hot water. It's going to be sitting there ready, but it's an insulated tank. Uh, and so it, I tried to hook it up as simple as I could. The thermostat off the shelf, you know, it, it, it's fairly simple setup. It worked really well last winter. Kept it inside a tight uh, margin of temperature, uh, which I was really pleased with. I wasn't sure if I was going to get wide variations when the, when the system was running or not but it, it worked really well. So this upcoming winter we're going to try just with the uh, solar thermal outside.